what's up? It's Emma. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been such a long time since I filmed my last video. I don't I don't even know what's going on with my YouTube channel right now. A lot of my videos are missing and I don't even know how that happened. So I'm looking into that right now. And my YouTube is just all over the place right now, so I'm really sorry for being inactive. So anyways, for today's video, I decide I got this shirt. This is from Zara. It's a, and it's a bodysuit, and I'm obsessed with it. And it's sparkly, and it's green, like my soul. And I saw this shirt, and I was like, I have to do a makeup look to match that. And this is what I came up with. Green is a color that I'm really iffy with when it comes to makeup. Like it's really hard to pull off for me, but I'm really happy with the way that this look came out. I used a bunch of ColourPop and some new Buxom eyeshadows from their new eyeshadow bar. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'm really happy with the way that this look came out. So yeah, if you guys like this look and you want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. So now that my hair is slowly transitioning back to blonde and it's not as dark as it was, I'm going to show you guys my new eyebrow routine because I did switch up the products and I'm starting to fill them in lighter because my hair is lighter. So I start off by filling them in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit and this is in shade number 3. And then I go ahead and comb them through and set them with the Benefit Give Me Brow and this is in the darker version. And then after that I'm going to go ahead and carve them out and then we can jump into eyeshadow. So now that my eyebrows are looking nice and defined and filled in, I actually have eyebrows. Now I'm going to go ahead and carve them out with concealer as per usual. Today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. So I'm going to go ahead and carve out my eyebrow and I'm also going to prime my eyelids with the same concealer. Before even going into eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and tape the corners of my eyes as I usually do. And the reason I do this is just because when I'm going for a really seductive or just dramatic look in general and I really want a sharp and crisp line, I'll put a piece of tape there to really get that defined line because sometimes I'll just go ahead and freehand it and then I'll go ahead and clean it up with like a makeup wipe but it still never ends up as crisp as I want it to be. So that's why I go ahead and do tape. But if so a lot of people aren't into doing tape or a lot of people mess up doing tape because like a lot of my friends have tried and they've ended up like taping their eye closed so if you don't know how to do it then don't but if you do go ahead for eyeshadow today I'm gonna be using a customized customizable eyeshadow palette from Buxom my sister made me this palette which I'm obsessed with this is one of my new favorite eyeshadow palettes ever and you can do this at Sephora and completely customize your own eyeshadow palette. So I'm really obsessed with the colors here. So these are the colors and the colors that I'm going to be using today are this one, which matches perfectly to my shirt. This is called No Faux. It's an iridescent snakeskin color. The next color that I'm going to be using is the first one. This one is called Famous Flirt. It's a matte pastel peach. And then I'm also going to be using this color right here, which is called It Crowd, and it's a glimmer in cayenne, which I'm obsessed with. So the first color that I'm going to go in with is this one. This is called Famous Flirt. I'm obsessed with this one. It's a really good matte background crease color, so this is going to go all up in my crease and out towards mostly the outer V, just to have that transition color ready. For today's look, I think I'm going to try and go for a halo eye. We're going to see what I'm feeling, but for now I'm thinking I want to do a halo eye. So I'm going to go in with it crowd and this is going to go on the outer third of my eye, the inner third, and I'm going to keep the middle blank. And then when I'm ready to go in with the middle color, I'm going to go in with this color. But in the meantime, I'm just going to focus on getting the inner third and the outer third of my eye really crisp and clean with it crowd. Of 
Alright, so now I'm ready to go in with this beautiful shimmery green color. And with this color specifically, this color, it looks really good when you apply it with a brush, but it's not as opaque as I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my ring finger to apply it to the center of my lid. And then to blend it out, I'm going to go in with a brush, but I'm going to wet the brush with a little bit of makeup setting spray just so I can get it as opaque as I want it to be. Just to really add some dimension and pizzazz to this look, I'm going to go in with the shade Flower Shot from ColourPop, which is a beautiful, just it's just a beautiful green color, which really matches nicely to the mesh shirt. And this is going to go ahead and go on the center of the eye. Alright, so I'm super happy with the way that my eyeshadow is coming out and now I'm ready to go ahead and do some winged liner. So for eyeliner today, I'm going to go ahead and use the Tarte Tarte's Clay Paint Liner. I'm ready to jump into face makeup. So. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the Benefit Professional Primer. This is my favorite primer of all time. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. And I'm going to go ahead and mix the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Gold. This is my favorite foundation of all time. And I'm going to mix the shades 205 and 202 because I'm closer to shade 205 right now. But it's still a little too dark for me. So I'm going to mix in just a little bit of 202 to get the right shade for me. For concealer today, I'm going to use the same concealer that I used to carve on my eyebrows, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And again, this is in the shade 15. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the concealer and I'm going to bake a little bit under my eyes with the RCMA Transition Powder. going to be using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. This is my favorite bronzer ever. I like it a little more than I like the Hula bronzer from Benefit because maybe it's just because I'm tan now so it fits better with my skin tone because I mean this I'm not really tan but when I'm like super super pale like in the winter I have to use the Hula because the Chocolate Soleil even in the lightest shade is still too dark for me but it fits me now so I literally like it for the summertime. I'm going to let that bake for just a little while, so in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put some blush on my cheeks, and today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Something About Berry Blush. This is a super cute pink blush, but it's really pigmented, so be careful if you're using it because a little goes a really long way. And now I'm ready for my favorite part of the makeup, which of course is highlighter. So today I'm going to be doing a little mix, a little cocktail, if you will, of highlighters. So today I'm going to be using the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in 002. This is the pink one. I wanted to get the gold one, but I'm a little too pale for that one. So this is the nice and champagne pink one. And on top of that, I'm going to be using the new Too Faced highlighter, the Love Light highlighter in Blind by the Light. This is the lightest one because, yeah, I'm pale. So I'm going to be doing a little mix of these, and that's going to go on my face. Ready to do the lower lash line. So. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with that beautiful orange shade It Brown and that's going to go all along my lower lash line and I'm going to smoke that out and then over top that I'm going to go in 
with that green and then over top of that I'm gonna go back in with Flower Shop by Colourpop. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with some black eyeliner and then I'm gonna go ahead in with my Better Than Sex mascara and just, you know, do the whole thing. So with today's look, I didn't really want to do any uh, fake lashes. I really, I'm really feeling just no eyelashes lately. Like, I love eyelashes, but... I'm not really in the mood to put on eyelashes today and my natural eyelashes are looking pretty good so I just I'm not going to do it. So lastly for today we're going to go ahead and do lips. So for lips I'm going to go ahead and do a nude gloss because I don't want to do a look of lipstick. I'm sick of those and nude obviously because the eyes are speaking for themselves. So for the nude lip gloss today we're going to be using WeHo from Colourpop which is one of my favorite nude lip glosses ever. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lips. Alright everyone, so that completes this look. I had such a good time making this video, it feels so good to get back into making YouTube videos. I know I'm saying this all the time, how I make videos for a while, and then I stop for a while, and then I get back into it, and I'm just, I know I'm really annoying, and I'm sorry, but for those of you that are sticking with me, thank you, I really appreciate it, and I really want to get back into making videos full time the way I used to. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.